How do you create an Instagram optimized carousel post that flows seamlessly from slide to slide using just Canva? Hi, I'm Erin, your digital marketing coach, and I'm breaking down exactly how to do this in Canva so you can do it yourself. And make sure to stick around to the end because I'll also show you how to split and export each slide directly in Canva without the need for Photoshop or any other extra tools. So first you'll want to create one big canvas that's a full width of all of your carousel slides combined. And since Instagram's feed now is portrait based, instead of the old square layout, you'll want to design your carousel in a four to five aspect ratio, which means that each slide should be 1080 by 1350 pixels. So what size should your full canvas be? The height is going to stay the same at 1350 pixels, but to figure out the width, you just want to multiply 1080 by however many slides you want in your carousel. So for example, if you want a five slide carousel, which we're going to be doing for this example, uh, 1080 by five is going to be 5,400 pixels wide. So that gives you a canvas size of 5400 by 1350 pixels. So now that your canvas is set up, it's time to add a guideline so you can see where each individual slide will start and end. So to do this, you want to go to File, and then Settings, and then choose Add Guides. From there, you want to select Custom, and under the Column section, enter the number of slides you're creating, and in this case, it'll be 5. To make sure there are no gaps between the slides, set the gap to 0 and then just click add guides and you'll see clear dividers marking each slide of your carousel. So now that we have that all set up, it's time to create your design. So here's a quick example of what I put together to show you how it looks like with the guidelines in place. And just remember, your designs will be split exactly where each guideline is. So anything that crosses over those lines will get sliced when you export the slides. Now here is the last and most important step that you've been waiting for from the beginning, which is how to split up and export your carousel into individual images right inside Canva. So once you're finished with your design, you want to export your entire design as one image file. Next, you're going to want to scroll down to the apps tab on the left and search for image splitter. Once you find that tool, click the option to choose file to upload your image that you just exported. You should now see a preview of your image. From there, leave the number of rows as one and then change the number of columns to the number of carousel slides you have, which is five for this example. Then click split image. Now you'll see a preview of the image split up into five individual images. Then you'll wanna choose save images to upload. So it'll save as uploads within uh, Canva for you to add to your design later. So we're almost done here. Then create a new canvas by choosing Instagram post with the four to five ratio. Create five pages, um, one for each slide, and then go to your uploads and add each upload to each page. To make sure your images are in the right order, you can also preview them all in a grid by clicking the grid view at the bottom right. And once everything looks good, it's time to export your carousel post files. So tap share, download, uh, make sure you selected all pages, hit the download button, and then you're done. Now that you know how to create and export a seamless portrait style carousel post using just Canva, you won't want to miss this next video where I'll show you how to turn that same piece of content into a carousel style reel.